everyone, Ted Dill, Star Wars Nerd here. I hope you're doing well, and I want to thank you for joining me today as I go over the Star Wars headline I just saw. It looks like it is now being reported that the Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi series has cast its Princess Leia. Okay, well, let me just pull the article up here and we'll go over it. So, as it says here on comicbook.com, and I saw it on a couple other places as well, Obi-Wan Kenobi has found its young Princess Leia, according to a new report. The live-action Star Wars series set a decade after the downfall of Obi-Wan's Ewan, Ewan McGregor, <laughs> Jedi apprentice Anakin Skywalker Hayden Christensen in Revenge of the Sith reportedly involves a young Leia and Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader's twin children separated at birth. According to Star Wars scooper Jordan Mason of Cinelinks, Vivian Lyra Blair from Bird Box and We Can Be Heroes will play a big part in Kenobi as Princess Leia Organa of Alderaan, described as the impetus for the whole show, who gets Obi-Wan into another adventure. McGregor, reprising his Star Wars prequel trilogy role on screen for the first time since 2005 Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith, told THR in April that an appearance by a young Luke is very possible. Portions of the series take place on Tatooine, the desert planet Obi-Wan calls home by the end of Sith to watch over the young Skywalker. And there is a picture of the new young Princess Leia. She's a little cutie, huh? Yeah. <laughs> She's going to do great. Oh, yeah, she looked real enthused there, huh? <laughs> All right, well, very cool. That's awesome. Very cool. Okay. He has one task left, which is to keep Luke safe, McGregor said in a sizzle reel screened during Disney Investor Day 2020 where Deborah Chow, the Mandalorian, revealed the Jedi Hunters posing a threat to the exiled Obi-Wan. Okay. We start on Tatooine and we go on a rollicking adventure. McGregor added uh, of the Planet Hopping series confirmed to include the rematch of the century between Obi-Wan and Darth Vader. The six-episode Obi-Wan Kenobi is scheduled to release in 2020 on Disney+. Plus. If you haven't signed up for Disney+, Plus yet, you can try it out here, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, I, I was signed up, but then I, yeah, I left. And I have not resubscribed yet, but that is very cool. I'm glad they have that, and I'm glad that's coming, and I'm really looking forward to the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Really looking forward to that, and I hope it's done really well. From what I've heard, so far things are going good. Uh, if you can believe Doomcock, what he said sounds great. I'm really looking forward to that. If you believe what other people say, um, yeah, there's always good in a lot of what's going around. So I'm hoping something good happens, as always. I want to like Star Wars, and I want there to be good Star Wars. And these next few seasons of shows that are coming up will really prove how Star Wars will shake out in the future, I believe. Really looking forward to Visions and then the movie Rogue Squadron. So hopefully things go well. I've got my fingers crossed. I am Ted, the old Star Wars nerd. Please leave a comment below. Click the like button. Click the subscribe button. Click that bell for notifications if you would. Thanks again, and I hope to see you again next time. And until then, take care.